Dr. Freeman. I realize this moment may not be the most convenient for a heart-to-heart, but I had to wait until your friends were otherwise occupied. There was a time they cared nothing for Miss Vance, when their only experience of humanity was a crowbar coming at them down a steel corridor. When I plucked her from Black Mesa, I acted in the face of objections that she was a mere child and of no practical use to anyone. I have learned to ignore such naysayers when quelling them was out of the question. Still, I am not one to squander my investments, and I remain confident she was worth far more than the initial appraisal. That's why I must now extract from you some small repayment owed for your own survival. See her safely to White Forest, Dr. Freeman. I wish I could do more than keep an eye on you, but I have agreed to abide by certain restrictions. Well, now, listen carefully, my dear. When you see your father, (laughs) relay these words. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. She stirs. Her mortal form has regained integrity. We have averted an immeasurable loss. (laughs) 